This is another set from Alicat Models, which is um, an upgrade set. This isn't a conversion. This is a resin upgrade set for the BF109 G10 Erla uh, in 132nd scale. And if you're a follower of my channel, you may re uh, remember that um, this is a kit I picked up at Telford for £12, uh, which is a bargain. So I have gone um, a bit over top getting the extra bits for it because at that price I thought why not. Now um, this is a bit of a simple set, uh, not like the conversion set that we've just done uh, had a look at for the um, E1 variant backdating it to a D. This is just generally improving the parts in the kit that um, are a little bit wrong should we say. So you've got a layout of parts there which is a breakdown and then running on through you've just got a few sections here where it's telling you remove a few parts uh, to so that the resin um, replacement bits are going to fit in quite nicely. We've got a completely new um, propeller and nose cone there as well which eliminates the join halfway through the nose cone that the kit part does. Um, it's very ingeniously designed there where the blades just slot into these blocks here on the rear plate of the propeller and then a resin pin goes into the back as you can see here to hold the propeller which means you can paint it and do all of this at the end before attaching it to the aircraft. Then over the other side we've got a new air scoop there and it's just showing you a few, um, giving you a few pointers on how to get that fitted. There is one part here for the cockpit and um, as it says here this is stage 7, it says these are just small clone parts for the air vents for inside the cockpit sidewalls. These have been reduced just for just to aid the modeler and may be added by drilling a hole in the appropriate positions within the kit's cockpit sidewalls. We are sure some super, super detailed cockpits will be out soon, but thought these may just be handy as they are a tricky they are tricky to make for the detail scratch builders. So that's a nice option there. And we've also got a piece of etch metal here taped to the top, which is a scribing template which just puts in a few panels here. Uh, once you're coming to the end of the build up of the aircraft. So they don't go into detail on some of these parts because as you'll see they are you know, literally uh, like for like replacements. So looking at the set, I won't go into the actual Revel kit, um, there's plenty of uh, reviews online about that part, that kit and um, these parts just literally replace and up detail those plastic parts so I don't think there's any need to really look at them and compare them it's just basically basically to say these resin parts are better so we'll we're, we're take that as a given so I've cleared the stuff out of the way to um, have a look a bit closer at some of these parts so there's the three propeller blades which um, look uh, completely correct to me with the paddle the paddle shape there and then we've got the three pins which is nothing special just pins obviously then the back plate which those all fit to which is extremely well done again nice um, nice way to get all this to come together and then we've got the nose cone here which does have rivet detail running over the um, alongside the panel lines we've got recessed panel lines as well uh, very well cast there's no problems there I can't see any issues in the casting so that's very nice to see and then we've got a new quite extensive part here which is the top top part of the nose and this is a complete replacement part and just has the spacing for the machine guns correct and a few more uh, refined details here and um, they have been quite clever whereas in the Edward set because the Edward uh, kit is riveted fully, they've added the rivets. Here, the Revel kit is not riveted, so they have not put the rivets on because uh, you know that would stand out quite uh, quite a lot if you then had this one piece, <laughs> this one panel going in, which is completely riveted, and the rest of the plane isn't. So that's nice. And then we've got underneath here. This is where the kit part machine guns are going to fit. So that's a great piece there and just uh, completely sorts out the issue with the gun scoops there. Then a few other small parts, so we've got uh, the, drop, uh, the drop tank um, connecting point here for the underside of the wing and that's just a, a nice replacement part 
very well cast again, no problem, lots of uh, detail. Then there's some um, replacement flaps here and ailerons for the tail planes and the uh, main wing. Now these are really well done again. Uh, you're, you're basically getting the, the thinness here of the casting and very nice detail over the fabric texture. Uh, and they are absolutely great. There's uh, no issue with these whatsoever. So that's those parts. Then we've got the new uh, air scoop underneath. Uh, it might be the wrong name for it. Uh, it might be the oil cooler. Um, and this is the uh, the rear part of that as well. So that fits in there. Again, uh, like the rest of the parts, very well detailed, nice refined um, detail and it's all uh, recessed. Then there's a few parts for the cockpit, so you've got a new back plate here um, and seat, which is, as you, you, you can see there, how thin the edges of that seat is. Uh, so that's a great option there. And nicely cast, and then you've got the bars here running down the side, which go on the edge, which this actually sits on, I believe. It's something like that. I'd need to look a bit um, in a bit more detail. And this back plate is nicely cast again with good detail. So that's a nice addition. Then we've got three parts here <laughs> that I don't actually know what they're for. Um, so we'll skip past them, but they are included. Someone a bit more knowledgeable might know what those parts are for. Then we're on to possibly the most important additions here. Um, and this is where the kit does let itself a little bit down a little bit, given the scale, it being 132nd. And these are new hollowed out um, air scoops here, which are all over the airframe and exhausts. Again, so these are really, really nicely done and it will be a great addition to the kit here just to it will just instantly give it detail by adding these parts here and these scoops as well and they're very small uh, but they are all hollow and nice and scale thickness so that's a, another good option there uh, then we've got a new control lever there which is uh, great again lots of detail again like for like a new air scoop um, uh, oil cooler I believe, uh, which is quite um, prominent and a very noticeable feature of uh, this aircraft, the G6 and the G10, um, sits right out on the uh, front of the aircraft. So that's uh, that's a great great addition as well. And then we've got the two parts there, which um, was mentioned in the instructions which are for the cockpit and then you've got this part here again I'm not completely sure as to what this part is it may be for the new nose comb but again a more knowledgeable person would tell me what those parts are for uh, so very well detailed kit there and it's um, a, a very nice very nice option and it was around £15, so uh, for that amount of resin, uh, that's, a, that's a great addition, I think, to this kit, just to give it a little bit of a lift. Again, with an Edouard um, etch set, which I've also got in there, I think that's probably all you'd be looking for. There are um, parts made by Barracuda Studios, which um, are probably have the edge on resin, um, as far as this set, but it does work out quite a lot more expensive. So I went for this option, and I'm quite happy with the level of detail that's included here. And... Um, Again, as you can see with the instructions, um, we do have a few duplicate scoops and um, a few parts are duplicated just in case you break them, some of the smaller parts, uh, so that's a nice option as well. So that is the Alicat models um, at grade set for the BFG BF109 G10 from Revel. And that's a nice addition to this kit, and I'd say it's probably essential just for bringing some of the um, misses that Revel have done in their kit.